This workout is a full body advanced reformer flow. We are going to be focusing on balance and strength today. Grab your grip socks, have a long box ready, load up your reformers with one red spring, and let's start an elephant stretch. Stand up on your reformers with that one red spring on. Feet at about hip distance. Hands on the foot bar, two straight arms, two straight legs. Widen your shoulders. A soft bend of the knees. Tuck your chin. Look at your belly button or in between the inner thighs. Take a deep inhale through your nose to prepare. On the exhale, while stabilizing the upper body, start to push the carriage out with the strength of the legs by straightening those legs, and then bend the knees and pull the carriage back to center. Exhale, push out with the legs, straightening the legs, getting that beautiful hamstring stretch. And then inhale, bend the knees back and slow. Keep your heels down the whole time. Slightly float your toes up, deepening the stretch in the calves all the way up into those hamstrings. Tuck your chin. Continue looking at your belly button or in between the inner thighs. That way we get that nice stretch behind the neck. Make sure that your feet are parallel, that those toes point straight forward. Exhale, as you push out, those heels stay down. Inhale, pull it back in and start to notice that decompression around the lumbar spine. Now let's keep those legs straight and push out with two straight legs. Tilt the tailbone under. Draw your abdominals in and up as you pull the carriage in. Exhale, push out with the strength of the legs. Inhale, lift the arches of the feet up. As you pull the carriage to center, tilting that tailbone underneath you and drawing your abdominals in a little deeper each time that you pull those legs to center. Try to push the carriage out as far as you can without letting the heels lift and pull the abs in and up to bring the carriage back in while continuing to keep those shoulders wide and the wrists straight by making sure your thumbs stay out with the rest of the fingers. Exhale out, inhale in, just for three, good work. Last two, breathe through it. One more time, out, and right back in. Really good, step the feet together. Push out to a plank position, shoulders over the wrist, tuck your tail under, lengthen your neck forward, and then pike your hips back up, drop the heels down. Lift up high onto those toes, push out to a plank, squeeze your butt, look forward, pass the foot bar on the floor, making sure the upper back stays lifted and engaged, and then curl into those abs and drop those heels down. Lift up onto the toes, roll forward to your plank. Feel every muscle throughout the abdominal wall engage as you lift and drop the heels. High onto the toes, roll forward to a plank, Curl into the abdominals, heels down, hips back. We have three more. Articulate the spine. Curl through the abs, hips back, heels down. Last two, high onto the toes, rolling forward. Heart forward, eyes forward. Curl into the abs, lift. And those heels go down one more time, high onto the toes, roll forward to the spine, hold your plank, long stretch. We're gonna push the carriage out as far as you can. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your core, bring it forward. Push it out, lengthen, elongate the spine, come forward. Exhale, push the carriage all the way out. Inhale, pull it forward. One more time like that. Exhale, you push it all the way out. 
Inhale, bring it forward. Same thing now, but lift the right leg up. Flex both ankles. Push it out. Pull it forward for three. Exhale out. Inhale forward two. One more time, all the way out. All the way forward, switch, right foot down. Left leg lift. Push it out and bring it forward three. Exhale as you go out. Inhale forward two. One more time. All the way forward and drop the heels, stretch it back to that downward dog or elephant stretch. The legs go out and the legs pull in for five. Exhale, push out with the strength of the legs. Inhale, pull in with the core. Just three more here, starting to slow that heart rate down. Good work, last two. One more time. And come back in. Turn all 10 toes to the right. Lift up high onto the balls of the feet. Push to a plank, drop the hips down. Curl into the abs and lift, 10. Exhale. Inhale, breathing, starting to feel those obliques right here. Hips forward, hips up. Down with the hips and curl and lift. Lower and lift. All the way down and back up. We have five more. Good work, you've got it. Last four. Three. Drop that hip, look over for two. One more, hold it out, walk the left hand to center. Lift that right arm up, lift that right leg up, balance, hold it here. Bring your right hand to the hip. Right arm forward, left leg back, push out. Pull forward, switch. Push out, pull forward and switch. One more time, push out, pull forward, switch. Back to center, other side. Turn all 10 toes to the left. Pike up, lower down, drop that right hip down. Curl and lift. Stay up on the balls of the feet. So the modification of snake twist. Stabilize the upper body, the hip goes down. You look back toward that left shoulder. And then you lift right back up to center. Engaging those obliques, we go down. Up, down, and up. Five more, inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Good work. Stay with it, breathe. Just for three, and for two. One more time, down, and up. Push back to a side plank, right hand to the center, Left hand up, left leg lifts up high, left hand to the hip, left leg back, reach, push it out, pull it and switch. Reach, the arm goes forward, the leg goes back, pull the carriage and switch. Reach and pull one more time. Reach and pull back to center, hips down, Spine long, gaze down at that red spring. Push it out and pull it in for three. Exhale out, inhale in two. One more time, out and in and step it off. Great job, grab your long boxes. Place them on the floor, long ways. And parallel with the carriage. Adjust the weight, one blue spring goes on the reformer. If you have hand weights, grab them, they're optional. Hand weights in the hands, right foot down on the box. Left heel lifts up against that shoulder block. Reach your arms forward, flip them up, do a bicep curl with the back lunge. Lift up with length. Bicep curl, lunge down. Lift up and lengthen the spine. 
exhale, inhale up. Push evenly across to all four corners of that right stabilizing foot, pushing that right knee forward for alignment of the joints. Squeeze the biceps, lift up and lengthen, and remember to activate the left glute at the bottom for a deeper stretch into that psoas. Inhale down. Exhale up, 15 more seconds left right here. Lower and lift. And imagine your foot is a suction cup so that each time you lift, you're lifting the arch of the foot up through center while lengthening the spine and keeping your core tight. Three, two, one. Hold it down low. Bend the back knee in. As you push it out, reach your arms forward, pull everything in. Exhale, reach, inhale, pull. Exhale, reach, inhale, pull. Core tight. Pull the abs in a little deeper as you lengthen the arms and the legs out. Reach, pull. Exhale, inhale. 15 seconds, you've got it, stay in it. Stay low, tuck your tail. Lift your heart, pull the shoulders back and down. We're almost there. Just for three, two, one. In halfway, hands to prayer, pulse it. Two to three inches up, two to three inches down. Pulse and squeeze for three, two, one. Hold it, 15 seconds, stay low. Static hold, feel that right booty burn. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. Three, two, one. Come on up, really good work. Drop the weights down in front of the box. Take your hands to the box, walk them back a few inches on the box. Bring your left foot up against that shoulder block closest to you. Toes are down, heel is lifted. Push firmly into the hands. Activate your core. Cross your right ankle behind the left, holding a high plank in the air. Start to pike. Look at your toes and then lower. Look past your hands. Curl and lift and lower down slow. Option to lift the right leg all the way up and down as your hips move up and down, but perfectly fine to keep both feet down the whole time. Do what feels good for your body. Continue breathing. 10 more seconds here. Three, two, bend the knees in. Push the legs out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, lengthen. Stay active and lifted in the upper back. Don't sink in the chest. Inhale, bend. Exhale, press it out. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Really good work. Whew, turn around on the box. Face the other way, on all fours. Your right hand, you might wanna scoot the box a little more forward. And then the right hand comes onto that shoulder block. Your left hand is down on the box. As you push that right arm out, bend deep into the left elbow for a tricep push up while extending the left leg back. Lower down, round through the spine, pull in. Lower down, the leg goes high. Push into the left hand, curl. Exhale, inhale, breathing. Exhale, out. Inhale, curl, pull it to center. Three more. Good work. Last two. One more time, hold it out. Pulse the leg up, 10. Squeeze, nine, good. Eight, seven. Six, you can bend that right elbow a little bit if it's too much on the shoulder. Three, 
two, one, bring it all the way in, round through the spine. Hands onto the box, come to all fours, cat cow arch, look up, lift the tail, lift the heart, curl round through the spine, gazing at your navel. Inhale, arch, look up, lift the heart, open the chest. Exhale, curl through the spine, gazing at your navel. Three more, inhale, you arch, and exhale, you curl. Last two, inhale, arch, and exhale, curl. One more time, inhale, arch, lift the heart, open the chest. Exhale, curl through the spine. Look down, come back to neutral, stand on up. Grab the strap closest to you, place it into your left hand. So you can hold the little loop for more tension or the bigger loop for less. It's up to you with what works for your body. And you may need to adjust the box, either moving forward or back, again, depending on the length of your reformer. The left hand is gonna hold the strap. Your right foot is gonna step forward on the box. Your left leg is gonna step way back. You're gonna do a lunge and bend into the back leg. Then you're gonna lift up and balance and transfer your weight into the right. Step back, lunge down, lift and balance. You wanna step far enough back so that you're able to keep tension in the strap the whole time. And you also have to keep that left elbow bent in a bicep curl, lunge, lift, Balance at the top. Inhale down. Exhale up. Lift and balance. Three more. Last two. One more time. Balance, hold it here. Just breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale and exhale. Come on down, awesome work. Move your box to the other side or just get it out of the way. Move your weights out of the way as well. Take that strap closest to you again, turn and face it back. Slide the bigger loop up and over your right knee. Step back so that there's tension. Take your left leg way back behind you on the floor. Inhale, lunge, exhale, lift. Try to tap your back knee to the floor or to about an inch off the floor each time. Try to stay even across your shoulders and your hips and engage your lats. Lift your heart. Keep the gaze up and out to maintain proper posture throughout the movement. Down, up, inhale, exhale. One more time like that. You go down and up. Now do it again and go down, lift. That back leg comes up to balance. Step back, lunge, lift and balance. I don't care if your foot gets an inch off the floor, or all the way up to hip height, take what works for your body. Balance and breathe. Get low. Keep the spine long when you lunge. One more time. Stay up, hold it. Pulse the leg, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step the foot back, stay low, reach your arms forward, pull the left leg forward and back. As you reach your arms forward and back, stay low. Keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, forward and back. Three, two, and done, good work. Take that strap off of the foot. Have a seat on your reformer, feet flat, knees bent. Grab the, take your right foot, place it over the left knee. 
right hand to the knee, left hand to the ankle, arch and curl. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. One more time, arch and curl. Other side, awesome work. Place your box down parallel with your carriage. Grab your hand weights, place them into the hands. We're still on a blue spring. Left foot on the box, right heel lifts up against the shoulder block. On this side, we are gonna lunge down low and frame that left leg and then lift up to a high row. Inhale, lunge, get low. Exhale, lift up high row. Push evenly across all four corners of the left stabilizing foot. Point that left knee forward. Lift the arch of the left foot up as you rise up with length in the spine. Inhale down, exhale lift, feeling that quad engage and lift, keeping a long line of energy from the knuckles to the elbows as you squeeze into those upper back muscles. Inhale down, exhale up, get low and lift to center, feeling that deep glute engagement on the left side. One more time, take it down low, bend the elbows in tight, bend the back knee in. As you push out, reach the arms back, pull it in. Exhale, inhale, strengthening the triceps, keeping that tail tucked and heart lifted, stay low. Keep your elbows glued and tight to the sides of the waist. Exhale, reach, inhale, pull. Exhale, reach, and inhale, pull. Just for three, two, and one. Come in halfway, hands to prayer, pulse it. Two to three inches up, two to three inches down. Exhale, inhale, breathing down and up. Three, two, one, hold it, stay low, just breathe. Three, two, one, good work. Drop the weights down. Plank time. Hands on the box, walk them back a few inches. Bring your right foot against the shoulder block. Push it all the way out. Push firmly into the hands, engage your core. Cross the left ankle behind the right, holding a high plank here. Curl into the abdominals, lift the hips, lower down slow. Exhale, lift, look at your toes. Inhale, plank, look past your hands. Working into the natural curvature of your spine. Feeling every muscle throughout the abdominal while engaged. Option to also lift that top leg up and down as you lift the hips high and low. Breathe, take what you need. One more, drop it down, bend the knees in, push the legs out. Inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen, breathe. One more, and rest, good work. Wow. It's getting me too today. <laughs> Turn and face back. I am dripping sweat. Whew. On all fours. Right hand to the box. Left hand onto the shoulder block. As you take a single arm shoulder press and push that left arm out. Also bend into the right elbow and lift the right leg high. Inhale. Scoop the belly around the spine. Knee pulls to center. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pull the abs in and up. Inhale, reach it out. Exhale, pull the abs in and up. Get that leg up high. Really bend into the right elbow, working that tricep, press it down, 
round pull in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Pulse the leg up. Micro bend that left elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Pull it back in. Really good work. Take your boxes. Keep them where they are. <laughs> Grab the strap beside you. Place it into your right hand. Little loop for more tension. Bigger loop for less. Whichever you prefer. Keep that bicep curl. Left foot forward on the box. Right foot is back. Lunge, lift, balance. So I need to hold the bigger loop. Keep the elbow bent. So we lunge down, lift and balance. It helps to keep your eyes focused at one stationary point in front of you. Again, I don't care if the foot comes off an inch or all the way up to hip height. Do what works for you. One more. Hold it. And come on down. Whew, awesome job. Drop the strap for a moment. Take the box. Get it out of the way. Come to the reformer. Turn and face back. Slide this strap that's closest to you up and over your left knee. Take your right foot way back behind you, hands to your hips. Lift your heart, lengthen the neck. Lunge and lift. Inhale, get low and the carriage moves in. Exhale, lift up, squeeze your butt and the carriage moves out. Shoulders down and wide. Heart lifted. Inhale. Exhale, breathing. Get low and lift just for three, two, one more. Good, add that balance. We go down, we lift, balance. Lunge, lift, transfer the weight to the left and balance. Down. Up and balance. Inhale, lift, balance. Good work. Two more. One more. Balance, hold it, pulse it. Ten. Five, four, three. Two, one, plant that back foot. Reach your arms forward, stay low, pull it in. Press it back. The right foot taps beside the left. You stay low, the arms reach, they pull. Reach and pull, static hold with that left side. Three, two, one. Good work, take that strap off. Whew. Have a seat on the carriage, feet flat on the floor. Knees bent, cross the left ankle over the right knee, left hand to the knee, right hand to the ankle, arch, lift the heart, curl, pull back. Inhale, arch, exhale, curl. One more time, arch, and curl back to center. Uncross the ankle, add a red spring to join the blue. Lie on your back. Let your knees hang over the foot bar for a moment. We did a lot of lunging today. So this is really great lubrication for the knees. It kind of acts as a foam roller. Rock your knees side to side. Rock your feet side to side. Come onto your forearms. Your knees are over the foot bar. Now start to circle the feet to the right and around and up. Then reverse it to the left. Kick one leg out and then the other, pulling the heel toward the glute. 
Now circle the feet in opposite directions. Out and around. Out and around. Reverse it down and around. Down and around. Three, two, one. Lie on down. Head on the headrest. Shoulders against the shoulder blocks, knees at tabletop, reach your arms up, take a deep inhale, exhale, curl up, legs out, point at your toes, inhale, lower back down, exhale, curl and extend, inhale, lower and bend, we lift up high, lower back down slow, all the way up, all the way down, two more, one more, lift up, stay up, single leg stretch, one leg in, one leg out, point your toes, keep reaching through the fingertips, stay curled up high, and squeeze into your core as you draw the knee to the chest, just for three, two, one, lower down, circle the arms, curl up, hands to the hips, inhale, the arms lift, Exhale, circle and lift. Squeeze into your core. Squeeze into those inner thighs. One more time. <sighs> Reverse it out. Around and press. Inhale. Exhale, breathing. Three more. And two. One more time and lower down, straps on the feet. Extend the legs straight up toward the ceiling with the straps on your feet. Just breathe, anchor your tail heavy into the mat. Stamp your feet up toward the ceiling. Feeling that oppositional stretch, starting to get that heart rate to slow down. Deep inhales, deep exhales. One more, big inhale, and exhale, point your toes, lower both legs down. Flex the ankles, lift both legs back up. Point, lower, both legs down. Flex and lift, both legs back up. Breathing into that deep stretch, feeling that opposition. Soften those ribs and the shoulders. Quiet your mind. One more time, take it down, keep your toes pointed. Big circles with the legs, inhale up. Exhale, circle around and back to center while squeezing into the inner thighs. Feeling your femur bones fluidly rotating throughout the hip joints. So we get that deep release in your legs and into the hips. One more time. Go the other way. One more, halfway down, froggy in, push it out, point high V, down low V, bend the knees in, push the legs out, up high V, down low V. The straps move in the knees when you bend, the straps move above the knees as you extend, point lift, flex lower. One more time, bend it in, push it out, up high, down low. Keep those toes pointed and just circle those legs. Small and qu quick, keep your tail heavy, maintain a long spine. Try to maintain a neutral pelvis the whole time here and feel the legs lengthening out of the hip joints with each circle, up and around, three, Two, one, take it the other way. Out and around, take it around. 
breathing into that stretch. Deep inhales, deep exhales here. One more big inhale. Exhale, bend the knees in. Make sure your headrest is down, setting up for a short spine. Inhale, lengthen the legs out. Exhale, hinge at your hips, feet over the face. Use your abdominals, lift the hips up high. Bend the knees down, try to keep the tension. Articulate down, tail touches, the legs press. Always look straight up so that you don't strain your neck. Try to keep the carriage stable as you bend and roll it down to get that perfect decompression. At the top, if you want a deeper hip stretch, bring the soles of the feet together. Push the knees away as you roll it down. One more. And feet come down. Take a moment. Just breathe. Deep inhales, deep exhales. One more big inhale. Take the straps off of the feet, stand up off to the side carefully. And let's finish with the roll down together. Feet at hip distance, hands come down, ground your feet. Whew, micro bend the knees. Take a deep inhale, reach your arms up, gather energy. Exhale, hands down, nod your head, tuck your chin, scoop the belly, roll it down one vertebrae at a time, feeling the weight of the head, neck, and shoulders. Decompress your spine. At the bottom, straighten the legs, tilt the tail, scoop into the belly. Roll up as slowly as you can until the shoulders go back and down, chin and head up last. Awesome work today. Thank you so much for joining me for this advanced reformer Pilates flow. If you tried this workout, please let me know in the comments below because I'm just curious how you did and if you enjoyed it. And if you like this workout and want to see more like it, check out the advanced playlists for more workouts just as hard as this. Have a beautiful day. Oh,